in general, in dry times, animals can, as long as they're fed well and looked after, they can remain really healthy. And often we can go for long periods of time in dry conditions with, with healthy animals and low mortality rates. Uh, having said that, obviously there's some issues that we are concerned about and issues that we as veterinarians uh, see um, when we're feeding animals under, under conditions like this. The first one to take care of is calcium. Uh, we know that grain and uh, cereal grains and cereal hay are low in calcium and if you're planning on feeding adult stock for a long time or young st stock for a short time you need to supplement with calcium. Uh, just if it's a grain ration normally one and a half percent of the, gra of the ration that um, is, is absolutely fine. Uh, salt it can be beneficial as well at half a percent. One of the things we uh, also get concerned about vitamin A and E deficiency, the, those are both fat soluble vitamins uh, and the good news is that um, the liver stores of those vitamins uh, generally last for about five to six months. So any green feed will contain vitamins A and E and we start to get concerned about those deficiencies after we haven't seen any green feed for five or six months. A common problems we see uh, feeding animals in dry times is, is grain poisoning or acidosis and that, that occurs because uh, obviously we need to take our time and be careful introducing stock to grain and most of you that are experienced farmers know that you've got to do that, do that steadily and a little bit of roughage uh, really helps that process a lot. Uh, the normal grain introduction practices that most farmers are familiar with, introducing stock to grain over uh, about a 10 day period uh, with some roughage uh, is what's required there. There are some buffers available that can help with bringing stock onto grain. Uh, lime as well as providing calcium is a bit of a buffer. Bentonite can have some buffering effect. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of buffers but um, we know that the product Esclin can also really help if you are uh, uh, bringing stock onto grain and that can really help um, reduce reduce acidosis. Uh, right now um, lots of sheep uh, are being joined or in early pregnancy so the good news is that they just need a maintenance ration uh, but as we get to within um, six weeks of lambing they will need a, an increased ration so a maintenance ration for you if we were talking about grain would be in the order of uh, three to four kilos depending on the body weight of the sheep uh, but as we uh, approach uh, lambing and and lactation that needs to be up around six or seven kilos for for use bearing single lambs and could be twice that uh, eight to ten kilos for for twin bearing use so uh, that's why pregnancy testing of both sheep and cattle is really important. You really don't want to be carrying not pregnant cows uh, into this dry autumn. And uh, with sheep, you, you also want to be able to feed single bearing and twin bearing ewes as appropriate for their uh, uh, reproductive status. The other things to bear in mind, I guess, when you're feeding grain is that uh, enteric Toxemia can be a problem, particularly in sheep. Um, so make sure you've got your sheep fully vaccinated for enterotoxemia. The quality of the fodder is something you need to investigate. So you need to know uh, the feed quality. Also need to be aware that sometimes uh, we can see uh, toxins in hay, both cyanide and uh, nitrate. Um, be aware of that and uh, if necessary, um, have the hay tested. Uh, sorghum hay, millet hay uh, are more at risk than others, I think. Um, and as with any feedstuff, any new feedstuff, introduce it slowly. Uh, don't introduce it to animals on a, when they're hungry. So fill them up with something else first and then feed, feed small amounts of, of the new feedstuff. Whether you're changing pellets from one to another or grain from one to another, or, or new hay sources, you really want to uh, uh, make sure you don't introduce that new feed source uh, suddenly to hungry animals.